Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Beginner's Guide. Now, the first episode, I didn't realize there was going to be so much talking, but I still wanted to finish this, especially the journey with you guys, because it truly is a fascinating look inside a developer's creative process, and just, it's, it's mind-blowing in a lot of ways. So, I don't want to talk too much more. Let's go back in. We are on... Notes. April 2009. That was seven years ago. Oh, no. Okay, so like, Bloodborne and all that sort of stuff. Oh, oh. And we're back. Nice room. Not. <laughs> Wait, can I leave notes? I want to leave a note. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend oh. game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything oh, that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over enthusiastic. <laughs> but he was very gracious about it. I know that. Very I know that. War I know that world. And I cooled off eventually. Hey. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me, they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Huh. I mean, there's a lot of notes. I'm gonna go and just skip through this because. But it's ironic, isn't it? That I'm so glad playing I was for this that game one. and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know them <laughs> through their work. <laughs> if only, that I think is... this is why I always liked Coda's games so much. is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely, too. It was the most introverted thing you could have said. It's like, I'd rather get to know someone through their work. Chimes. It's not very crowded here. Just keep going. Ooh, look at that art! Oh, look at that art. I'm gonna go to that art. Here, I'll, I'll stop. Well, oh, jeez, it's just, there's so many of them. I'll just kind of briefly, I think I'm, I think I'm, this is not going anywhere. That's perfect. Oh. This is a note? Don't listen to the other notes. They lie. It's not safe. And now there's whispering. That's fine. <laughs> what does it mean? Man, this is... Interesting. But also, it's just, like, just from this alone, you can tell just kind of, like, how insecure... Coda was about his games and about like him as a person just like through playing one game. At the end of this level we're going to see the puzzle again and here oh, I'll tell shit. you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it and the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Interesting. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. How? And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, 
a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. There was only to step one back note. and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. <laughs> How do you leave notes? What? so loud in my eardrums okay this one is tough it's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes hang with it okay am I a porn star and if I am a porn star where's my audience it, like man oh 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 This is the longest buildup to what I'm assuming is me walking on stage or going outside. I'll go outside first. I'm in the well. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, what? for some reason, oh. Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Um, okay, cool. yeah, but I'm Here's stuck. Version two. Oh, version two, okay, good. Now there's nothing. My sweet ass furniture is gone. The furniture ought to be in this, gotta go in this. What furniture, oh, how about a TV? Uh, yeah, put a giant hole in it. That's, that's not what I wanted. Okay, um, like 10 stoves. Okay. I mean, I don't know why. Tesla coils. What? Did you put Tesla coil? You need a table. What is going on? Where exactly are you doing this? Thanks for my tape. Whoa! Well, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. No, it's an IKEA store. This is literally an IKEA store. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time, he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Okay. Hello, please walk forward, okay? But why porn stars? First, click on the table. Turn the floor. This doesn't seem right. I go left side, table, sofa. Finally, touch the shelves. Oh. That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. <laughs> Return to the start to get taken back to your prison. Oh, shit. Did I memorize that? Fuck. All right. Yeah, yeah, sure. I got it. I got it. I got it. Return. Let's do it. So now I escape, right? I mean,. That's not what- And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Great. Cool. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. What There's is... nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on? Yeah. But that's what I would say. Have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. 
and then he hits on something, and he likes it, and that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Like, did I just watch someone, like, work out some real shit? Yeah, because look, like, he... Like, he went- he created all these different prisons. And then, like, here's the lamppost. So it's done. Or... And... And then he got really into horror. I'm after you. Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escape from prison. You're me? Yes. So you were trapped in this prison too? Yep. Was in the future maze. It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. That completely feels... What's it like to escape? I, I mean, I, I don't- I wouldn't know, personally. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and things will actually- will be actually the same as before. Well, yeah. Oh, good! That's nice to hear. Makes me feel really happy. I'm still me, and I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. Remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. I Man, I'm having a conversation with myself. Come here. Did you get a call from another person? I mean, logically, that's what happened. What'd they tell you? The exact same thing that I'm telling you! They just talked to me for a while. I want to talk. They want to talk. We said, hey, what's up? What? That freed you? How does that work? Can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. I want to be mysterious. It will all make sense, young Padawan. Okay, I can talk. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? Aww. I'm giving myself comfort, and that somehow makes me I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Like, I'm really worried about what happens so to So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? You get the damn level from GoldenEye 7! GoldenEye 7? To me, this 007. is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean the entire house by my all by myself, and right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. It's a story, little one. Oh, don't worry now, we'll be through this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish you there was more. Why don't I finish up in the meantime? And could you please clear the table? Done. Oh, I'm so good at that. I pressed E and it disappeared. If only. Now would you please run the bedroom and make the bed? 
I, I, if this is going to be just like click and things are fixed, oh, dang. Oh, if only. Straighten out the rug a little bit. Uh. I mean, a long time when I was really desperate for cash. Sorry, I'm reading this a lot. Turns out I've never felt so good doing something for money in my whole life. Never did like cleaning my own room. I might have got some demons I ain't ready to face yet. Oh, speaking of demons, someone's put this couch all in a mess. Would you come straighten out these pillows? Is there a demon? If there's a demon. Oh dear, looks like someone's spilled a drink by the couch. Could you mop up? Oh, well, what the hell? You got blood all over the nice thing. Table. I feel compelled to share some incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Please, please, I like cheese. I like cheese. No. <laughs> Damn it. No, it was stupid. Sorry, never mind. No. Oh, I'm an ass. Oh, I'm an ass. That would have been fun in every other game. But I'm an ass. But I'm an ass. Scrub the tip. No need to be perfect, we're all just human. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? Oh, there is. Put that- Wow! Perfect. Now, can you come here and clear these dishes off the table? After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Yeah. Only as difficult to clean as you are. If you're finding the work hard, maybe you should... Maybe you have a bit of house cleaning to do before you come to work. Ha! And here I go with the lecture. Of course I would. I know that Koda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Huh. Oh, so, yeah, sorry. Earlier when I said I, I had a very cheesy thought, I was going to say it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it and it take care of, takes care of you. Don't know why I felt so weird, why I felt so weird saying that. I'll say three, but there's a bit of truth in it, no? Anyway, so housekeeping and stuff. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you clean up the book? Is, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, we said that thing. Look, but I want to know more. Oh goodness, the pillows. Okay, this is very. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Do a messy couch. Question. But you enjoy of this? course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. He made this when he was happy. It just ends. And lamppost. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? that sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought so that nice. was the point of it. Man. Items you love. This one gets a bit goofy. Nice. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? I, I guess, I can't. Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. Oh, okay. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends and the people in your life to look at you and think, wow, that this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, how who do you think about the who do you think about that way in your own life? 
who do you know is well developed as a person and they make you feel disgusted with yourselves compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you that person. Perfection is within your grasp. Never is. And the question is not how we do it, but how we do it effortlessly. This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, the Being perspective perfect, shifts. Effortless. And you play as the teacher. Oh. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. This is the key. How do I achieve? There's a giant fucking black hole behind you. <laughs> I still love you. It's just we make, make me feel cold inside. They couldn't as all of you perceive me as wise and tell it. <laughs> oh my god. Develop. You. I'm developing assist. Gross. <laughs> Well, if this is not a statement on schooling, then I have no idea what is. <laughs> Anyone want to do some ecstasy after this? Okay, all right. I'll just, I'll just keep doing the, the right thing. Everyone run, run, there's a black hole. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. Yeah, like seeing a giant black hole and not telling anyone like a, a dick. These days. There was a giant black hole! What's this one? This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Dude, have you ever been on an empty stage? <laughs> Being on an empty stage is the most terrifying experience ever. Now I will dance! We'll start by leaning against this wall. All right, okay. Jesus, a woman across the room in this chair. It's a pre professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Hello. Every conversation starts with a hello. Hello, that's it? That's not a conversation. You gotta start somewhere. Wow, okay. Oh shit, this is heavy. Oh, this is heavy. Here are my hopes and dreams. N no, 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 no. That's not what I said to say at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There are a lot of people around us. It's not helping. I'll give you some props to work with. These, cl cl these cones that bounce when you touch them represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. You've learned to lean into the pain. What are some you must have worked really hard. You're messing it. This socializing is hard. Oh man, I get this life. But do I really bounce? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm having fun. No, try stepping from the stage. Oh. And lamp post. Oh, what the? Well, 
This is my life now. Guess I'll go down this endless hallway. Okay, yes. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Five months this is really, really small. Mobius strip to play escape properly, you must keep your eyes closed. What? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. I can't see anything. What's going on? Oh my god, it's a door puzzle! The door puzzle is coming to me! Oh god! The door! Not the door! I died. Wait, what's going on? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's yeah. pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by Wait, the way. Really? Mm. Okay. Great. Uh, fuck. That, now I'm gonna feel like an ass if I if I can't solve this. Wait. Elevator? <gasps> okay. Got it. Okay, what's going on? Okay, so, uh, what's going on? And then I'm gonna go up here. Okay, there's the lamp post. The truth. The only way to stop is to speak something that is honest. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, I would be concerned. He's never been this explicit I'm concerned. in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like. You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta stop here. <laughs> this is really heavy. This is really, really heavy. It's, it's so hard to put into words without sounding like <laughs> depressing as hell. But it is one of those things, it's like, I mean, I've felt that many times. It's, it happens to a lot of people. And it's like, it's just like those beginning ones were very obscure and trying to like give some sort of thought. But like these games are getting a lot more personal than anything else. And it's really, it's hard because it's becoming, it's starting to become more relatable. Which is weird because it kind of says like he's becoming better at communicating his ideas towards other people, to other people. Oh man, it's just bizarre. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um... 
And I don't know. Like I don't I don't feel good at, like asking her that. So I'm just I'm just gonna go. Until next time, cybered out.